Welcome to Microsoft Dynamics 365 presentation regarding human resources. My name is Eddie Harford and I'm the CEO of the Dogma Group. Today we're going to talk about Dynamics 365 HR. I'm going to talk about how Microsoft is transforming a traditional HR department from being an administration to function into something which focuses more on the employee experience. It's well recognised that today the, the fight for talent is getting harder and harder. With platforms such as LinkedIn, social media platforms, the ability to identify recruit talent is becoming easier. The ability to retain talent is becoming much harder. And the ability to understand what's important is becoming more challenging for most organizations because from a lack of information, they don't understand how employees are feeling, which are the top staff, which are the highest performing staff and which staff are the ones which they need to retain moving forward. And obviously the, the ability for people to reach out across these platforms in terms of poaching staff, uh, headhunting staff, the way the recruitment agency works is becoming harder and harder. So the last 20 years later, um, essentially there's, there's a whole load of different themes which are happening in terms of um, why employees want to stay within the next company, why they want to, to make a move, what employees are expecting in terms of feedback they want to be listened to at least twice a year. Um, and there's a big percentage of people understand that actually just twice a year is not enough really. They want to be kept in contact and understood on a quarterly basis. But more importantly than that, if you have the ability to stay in contact with your employees on an ongoing basis by using the technology which is provided, and Microsoft are investing a lot of money in these areas. You've seen the likes of um, Delve Analytics. We've seen the likes of Viva. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that one. Talk about Viva Analytics, Viva Insights, Viva Learning. These are all tools aimed at really trying to take HR from being administration into that employee experience, which is really where most organizations are trying to get to. They're trying to understand that the working cultures over the last two to three years have changed dramatically. So taking us from a place where everybody came to the office and then when COVID struck and then everybody started working from home. So the ability to look across the office and see somebody who's looking a bit sad or down and going over, having a quick chat to them, it is so much harder. You'll notice behaviours within your own organisations that when people do team meetings, you'll see certain people will turn their camera off. And this is normally a good indication of actually something's not quite right or they're feeling a bit sad or they're down. This is the sort of the new world of behaviours we're starting to experience. And although the trend is, is probably to go back to the office more and more, there's still going to be a, a, a massive sh shift moving forwards in terms of people um, co-working from both home and, and also the office. So being able to reach out to people through different medias and tools and understand their feelings and understand what's important to them is going to be absolutely essential. And this is what these tool combined integrated tool sets are going to offer you and also the ability to have all that information reportable through Power BI. This is what makes Microsoft such a compelling offering. The key to retention is probably where all know, right, is having that complete connected employee experience. So aligning people to impact, so understanding what their, their goals are. Using things like a nine box grid is a really good way to do this. Um, empowering employees, so giving people ability to reach out or shout out or share praise or provide ideas to the management. Um, engaging them with different programs, this could be training programs, um, GDPR, this could be privacy impact assessments, this could be um, open days, this could be learning days, this could be uh, team building days, but, but really trying to support that diversity within your workplace. Um, which, which can be challenging, especially when you're, you've got people working from different locations, but with integrated tools such as Teams, combined with the be able to run meetings quickly and easily, um, is, is a really cool thing. And then the ability to continuously innovate. Um, one of the great things that I like about Dynamics 365 especially is, is the integration to the Power Platform. So the ability to take what is essentially a standard HR product and then being able to integrate it with different parts of your business seamlessly in terms of maybe it's a time of request, maybe it's uh, ideas, maybe it's about the, the 360 appraisal process, but, but trying to make it more engaging with the staff by using the training and then the Power Platform to provide automation uh, 
approvals, um, workflows, data integrations, those sort of things. It's all really simple and really easily with Dynamics 365 HR. So Microsoft is really trying to help turn HR from, which is one of the traditionally most underspent departments of an organization, um, into one which is really trying to offer value add. So the cost of, of taking uh, losing a key member of your team and then hiring and then getting them up to speed of where the previous employee was generally takes about eight to nine months on average. So if you think about the loss of productivity for that time frame, plus the cost of hiring and the effort it goes to, the ability to retain staff is, is, is of utmost importance to all organisations. Um, and then this has become more and more apparent um, as, as that war for talent rages through LinkedIn and, and other platforms. But Microsoft is trying to transform the employee experience and this, you'll see a lot of this moving forwards with, uh, with Viva. This is going to be some really cool stuff. Um, the ability to optimise the HR programme. So it's using those satisfactions using Microsoft, things like Microsoft Forms in terms of surveys, questionnaires, and obviously the sentiment analysis capabilities, which is and obviously taking data from the surveys and automatically recording it back into HR is a massive time saver for any HR department. And obviously the discovery, the insights, uh, by using Power BI, because obviously Dynamics HR is all built upon the Dataverse, so all the data can be accessed, reported upon in the same way as any of the other Dynamics 365 applications. So you can see Dynamics 365 is one of the core elements of 365. Um, it is fully integrated into Microsoft Active Directory, so it links your users, so all the security, multi-factor authentication is all out of the box, which is great. It also enables you to do um, all the common stuff, such as have an employee experience through a portal, so people can log on, do type sheets, we'll see this very shortly. And again, that's all the security is done for your standard Office 365 Active Directory Azure, which is great. So all the compliance, the GDPR, the security, the geolocation, backup, resilience, disaster recovery, all comes out of the box as standard. There's no setup, it just works. So as I said, it does provide different levels of functionality and capability for the different users. So as an employee, I can log on to my employee portal and I can see my information, update my information. As a manager, I can do the same thing as for myself, but I can also manage my team as well. So this all comes as part of the stack the employee license, and then the HR enables you to do all the administration and setup and management as well. As we mentioned, it is built on the Power Platform, and in terms of the capability and the functionality, it enables you to work across the different areas, say so organization management, employee experience, compensation and benefits, leave and absence, and it also enables you to extend into other applications such as payroll. So I'm just going to flip to the product itself so I can show you how it looks. So this is the employee experience. So when I log in as an employee, I can see my information such as my time off requests, my tasks which have been allocated to me from HR, any certificates and when the expiry is, my next registration in terms of courses and what courses are coming up, my reviews, my performance goals, the skills, skills management, compensation and benefits. So it gives you the ability to see all this information at a glance. If I wanted to update my information, I could do that by clicking on my edit personal details. And now I can edit my address information, my contact details, my payment methods or images. There is an integration into uh, BC for payroll as well. So the pay methods will actually transfer through if you wanted to go for that option as well. If I'm logging on, as a HR person, you can store the same information for Jeff, but now as a HR information, you get a lot more information. You can see if they're leaving absence programs, we can see information about their employment, and also we can edit the details about this person. We can apply a checklist, such as a leavers checklist, an onboarding checklist, a transition to a new job checklist, and you can then manage that information. We can also do things like assign a new position, change a position, or involve this person in some benefits. So the same information from HR point of view, from the HR administrator to the employee, but they get to see the same information, but different views of it. If I log on to the self-service again as Jeff, I can also see Jeff's a manager. So I see this my team. And then when I click on my team, I now have the ability to manage my team as well. So I can manage things like, I want to see, uh, do a time off request, 
or something request time off for one of my team members if I wanted to see the different positions, my performance goals, um, my manager absence team calendar, skills gaps, teams performance goals, etc. etc. So I can now manage on behalf of my staff. If I have a member of my team that's also a manager, I can also cascade down and see be a manager of a manager. So I can now see not just my team, but I can also see Benjamin's team and all the people within Benjamin's team. If I go back to the HR side as well. Um, I go to my personal management. So this is the as a HR administrator. I have the ability to log in and manage the different employees, different positions, approval processes, um, and address changes from any of my staff members plus the contractors. If I had multiple legal entities, I could set up multiple legal entities and have different employees associated with different legal entities where they would have different benefits, different compensations, and different policies around leave and absence. I also have analytics out of the box. Um, so with each area of the system, it comes over full PI, PI, Power BI reporting capabilities, and all of these reports are all embedded, and all, there's no additional cost or licenses required to, to service them. So the HRs, things like people metrics, full-time analysis, workforce demographics, um, and so on and so on. And you can see each of the different areas has its own set of reports, um, but essentially it enables you to manage all that information as well. So if I go through the various areas, so we've got task management. So this is the ability to manage things like the onboarding process, offboarding processes and transition processes. So we can create tasks, we can create checklists of tasks like quick, quick actions. We can build in power workflow as well. So you can ability to do offboarding transitions. You can see overdue tasks, you can see my tasks. We can even integrate the tasks into Outlook Calendar if you wanted to, so you can you know, then schedule them. Any tasks you schedule for an employee will automatically appear in the employee self-portal. We also have the ability to manage the absence of leave programs, compensation packages. Um, this is, gives you the ability to integrate, from a, from a payroll point of view, all the different compensation elements, both fixed and, comp and variable, um, into different pay elements, which then synchronizes moving forward. The employee development side, this enables you to manage the skills, so you can then do things like skill performance gaps analysis, um, enable you to manage which employees have got what skills at what level. And again, all these reports are, are filterable and interactable as well. So if I wanted to, I could actually export the data. I could do a spotlight of it to highlight it in particular. I have the ability to change the access, I could ability to apply different filters, or whatever I want. It's also clickable, so if I wanted to see actually the HTML, it will then filter as part of the program and will show me which people have got which levels as well. And again, I've got the various different skills. So if I wanted to click on particular department and then filter that automatically for me. Learning gives you the ability to running a learning management system. So this is like an LMS system. So an LMS system is essentially basically training courses that you could provide. This could be health and safety, this could be GDPR, this could be data protection, um, whatever you want really. It it's basically gives you the ability to set up the different courses you provide, to make them offer or compulsory or mandatory for the staff, and then, and then track the attendance of those staff. So you have the ability to do things like set up different courses, different classrooms, uh, different agendas, manage the participants, review which people are attending and enrolling or which people are cancelling. You can have quite different questionnaires. You can manage the responses and success of those trainings. And you can also, if you want to do design questionnaires, which get pushed out to staff on an ongoing basis or a regular basis. So this is all the standard functionality around the system. Uh, from a compliance point of view, this gives you the ability to manage um, complaints, disciplinary matters, um, the ability to manage things like uh, harassment, things like queries, um, but it gives you the ability to manage all these incidents, if you like, securely and safely within the system, which then go on the HR files, so you'd have to do paper or Excel, and then it all sits securely within the HR, so you get that protection there from other people having access to the data, which, which might cause an issue if you wanted to use a CRM system with the case management, you'd obviously have to apply a lot more security to it. <laughs> 